What if I want to create copies from a certain object inside the script at runtime? I have this object in the hierarchy. I will drag it to the assets folder to create a prefab. And in this video, we're going to see how to create copies from this object. Subscribe to support this content and let's start solving this problem. Let's create a new script and an empty game object to assign it. Inside the script, let's define a game object variable, call it for example original object. Then in Unity, drag the object you want to clone to this variable in the inspector. You can clone an object from the scene or you can clone the prefab, whatever you choose. To clone an object, you can use the instantiate function. This function can be called by any script that inherits from mono behavior. Now, this function has several overloads. That means you can call it in different ways, passing different parameters. If you call instantiate passing only the object, for example, here in the start function, when you press play, you will see that the object is created in the hierarchy. If you want to place the object at a certain position, you need a way to tell Unity in what position to place the object. For example, you can define another game object or transform variable. Let's call it target object. Then in Unity, create an empty game object and drag it to that variable in the inspector. And to create the object in that position, you can add two extra parameters to instantiate a position to place the new object and a rotation to assign it. In this case, for the position, we will use our new variable target object dot transform dot position. And for the rotation, you can write a quaternion dot identity like so. You can use the rotation defined in the original object or any other rotation you want. If you press play, the new object is created in the position of the target object. The instantiate function returns a game object. That game object is the reference of the game object you create in the scene. So you could define, for example, a local game object variable and assign to it the instantiate instruction. That way you could keep using that reference, for example, to change the name of that object. Press play and see what happens. You could also define a global variable if you want to use that object in any other moment besides the start function. Subscribe to this channel so we can see each other again in the next video.